Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Frolic of Inflexible Me and today we're going to be talking about finances and frequency. Uh, this video has been inspired by a personal experience that I've had uh, and I wanted to share with you what happened and how I was able to resolve it and unblock the money flow that had been stopped, plugged, whatever it was, I got rid of it. So uh, in life, we have relationships with people, whether it's family, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, where we may come to a point uh, where, especially if we're, you're doing all these things on your spiritual journey, where you want to increase your frequency. Okay, we've talked about some previous videos, raising your vibrations, all of that kind of stuff. You're gonna notice that certain people start to fall out of your life. And the reason is just because the frequency isn't matching anymore. And that's okay, it's not a bad thing on them, it's not a bad thing on you, it's just the way things are. And so what happened for me is that I had this happen with one of my relationships, with someone uh, that I know. And I realized it was just time to let it go. You know, it's just time to let it go. I felt the relationship had served its purpose and um, just time to release and let go. And I'm unbeknownst to me, the very next day after I did that, where I made the decision uh, in my own mind that it was just time to walk away, uh, I saw a huge spike in increased sales and web traffic to my business. Uh, as you all know, my whole business is online. Uh, and so this was very interesting for me to observe. It didn't just last for one day either. It lasts for a prolonged period of time, um, over a week, where I noticed that this was just, I, I, what I was watching I had, had been unprecedented. And so I thought to myself, well, that's very interesting. I just observed it. I didn't really make too much of a big deal of it, although I noted it. I was like, okay, that's interesting. I gotta keep that on the back burner. Well, fast forward, some time passes, and I meet, uh, I meet someone, and they quickly become a good friend of mine, and they're a um, psychic and a Reiki master. And at the first, when we first met, this person had no idea of any of the background story to this previous relationship. Uh, and so he said to me, you know, Nicole, you have someone in your life who's screwing with your finances. And I said, oh, and I instantly thought of this person back, you know, some time where I noticed that, um, that correlation. I said, oh, that's interesting you say that because th that might be true. And he said, you know, do you mind if I just do some energy work on you? And I said, sure. Turns out I had all these daggers and anchors in my shoulder, which I had been experiencing a lot of pain for for months. And I hadn't been able to heal no matter what I had done physically, whether it was a massage, whether it was chiropractic, whether it was um, yoga, nothing was working. And then all of a sudden the pain started to go away. And I looked at him and I said, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm just taking out all the daggers that were in your shoulder. And he goes, this, um, he goes, this was blocking, uh, part of it was blocking your money flow. And so, he goes, you're going to notice, he goes, notice over the next couple of days that you're going to see an increase in sales again in your business. And so, of course, I observed the very thing that he's told me would happen. The exact same thing happened uh, that had happened previously, a huge spike again in sales and traffic. And so at this point now, I'm starting to become a little bit more curious and a little bit more observant. Again, it's now a pattern starting to show, but it's still not concrete enough for me to say, uh, this is definitely what's going on, until it happened a third time. Once it happened for the third time, then I was like, okay, this has got to stop. And so what I realized was that one day I woke up and I just wasn't feeling great. I felt like crap. And I had been feeling so good for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. And I got a message from my higher self that I needed to get rid of all of the objects that this person had ever given me uh, as a gift uh, or anything like that. So, uh, and also any pictures, anything like that that may still be around, I needed to get rid of it. And so I did, so I did a huge cleanse and clearing where um, whether it was uh, cards or letters or anything like that, burning, photos, uh, cleansing and clearing energies, throwing it away or giving it away if I felt like it could be given away. Uh, but of course, 
I wanted to maintain uh, spiritual hygiene, responsible spiritual hygiene, and I made sure to cleanse and clear all the energy so that no one else was taking on that trash. And so uh, once I did that, within hours, it wasn't even within days anymore, it was within hours that day, a huge, I just watched another spike happen. And, you know, it's, it's incredible to observe. And so I realized how important it is to really be aware of um, what can be happen happening to us uh, because of unconscious thoughts or words or activities of other people who we may not have a good relationship with anymore. And I want you all to think about if there's someone in your life where uh, maybe you have an uncomfortable relationship now, or maybe it's just not jiving the way it used to be. Like you're trying, but you just, you feel like you're hitting walls every time you try and it's just not the way it used to be. Might be time to walk away from a relationship. Uh, and it may be time to do some serious cleansing and clearing and releasing in love. And so I wanted to give you all um, some of the things that I did that really helped to um, basically, uh, take back my money flow from being hijacked uh, and, and, and clear out my energy field, uh, my personal energy field and my home energy field. Uh, now, because I work from home, I would also suggest to you, you may want to do this in your workspace if you don't work from home, because obviously our workspace is where we make our money. And so, um, okay, so what you want to start off with is think about any objects, any gifts, that you may have that are tied to this person and get rid of them. Of course, first, before you get rid of them, you need to cleanse and clear them. And how you can cleanse and clear them, it's very simple. There are lots of different ways that you can do it. But one of the easiest ways that you can do it is just take your hands and place your hands around the objects. You know, you don't have to be touching them and just close your eyes, ground your energy and start infusing your own energy into the object and ask that this energy um, cleanse and clear the old energy to serve the object to its highest good. And then once that you've cleansed and cleared it, then bring in a violet flame. Bring in violet flame and see the, the violet flame completely uh, infuse this object and ask the violet flame transmute any neg negative energies or energies that are not serving you to the highest good and ask them to be transmuted into a really high frequency of say love or I like to choose Christ consciousness because it's a really high frequency. And so ask that that be transmuted so that you now can get rid of these objects and know that you're not dumping this trash, this energetic trash onto anyone else, right? Like, so you don't want to be throwing this on someone else's lawn or anything like that. You don't want anyone else to pick up this energy. So always important to practice spiritual hygiene. Then you are free to either, if it's a letter, you can burn it, or a card, you can burn it. If it's a photo, you want to burn it, you can. If you want to just throw it away, you can throw it away as well. Um, uh, just to mention, though, if you are burning things, please do it safely and responsibly. And you should be taking those ashes. Do not leave them in your house. Uh, if you have a fireplace, do not do it in your fireplace because you do not want the ashes still in your home. Uh, you want to take them out and put them back into the earth. So if there's a place on your property that you can put them uh, in the dirt and just give them back to Mother Earth and make sure that it's an area that will not be disturbed. Uh, maybe you have a compost, that would be great. Um, and just please make sure that the ashes are no longer burning uh, and that you are not going to set anything else on fire. Uh, it's just put that out there. You never know. Sometimes we get a little uh, caught up in what our activities are and we forget like some of the common sense things. Uh, so the second thing that you really want to do is you want to do some cord cutting. You want to do some cord cutting with this person for sure, but you also want to do cord cutting with anyone that might be still involved with this person. So you need to bring up anyone um, and put them all up on a stage. Uh, my friend taught me this. He's like, just put everyone up on a stage so that you can do this all in one fell swoop. And you bring in Archangel Michael and you ask for his blue sword and you just start cutting all the cords around you 360 degrees. As you do, watch the cords in your mind's eye fall to the ground. And as they do, say, I release these cords in love. And as they fall to the ground, imagine that you're standing on a beach and that the sea is coming in to take the cords and wash them back out. So you're allowing that salt water to come in and cleanse and clear the negativity of those cords, take them back into the earth, 
and or into the sea and allow them to be transmuted through the sea salt of the sea. So very beautiful and it's actually really calming and relaxing to do that. So uh, once you've cleansed and cleared all the cords, then what I like to do is I like to bring in a flash of white light. So I just see this massive burning white light flash around my entire body and it's almost like it's a quick burn. And then I um, bring in violet flame and I do, I bring in violet flame through my entire physical body. I ask it to expand beyond my physical body into my mental, emotional, and etheric body. And I see it in my mind's eye. And I then just ask that all negative energies or energies that are no longer serving me to my highest good be transmuted into uh, the frequency of Christ consciousness. And I ask that it be on all dimensions, on all levels, through all space and time, past, present, and future. And then, that should that should help burn away all the negative energies but you want to have a shield so then what i do is as that beautiful transmutation transmutation is happening i bring in gold light and i and i put a gold shield orb around me so that there's the violet flame inside and a beautiful golden orb around and i maintain it there and i ask for it to stay there and shield me and so this is very beneficial this helped me tremendously now i also mentioned that i had some um, help from a friend who was a Reiki master, I would also uh, recommend that if you feel like these attacks are beyond something that you can do on your own, go in search of someone uh, who does Reiki and can help assist you in clearing those energies and cords and maybe assist you in where they may be in your body. Um, and maybe you'll get some more insight as to what's exactly going on. It's okay to ask for help, especially if you're new to this. Uh, you know, I've been experiencing um, or been working with Reiki masters since I was in my uh, late 20s. And so uh, almost 15 years. And it's always been it's always been great. So that is something that you can always um, go to as well. And those things should really help you take away that that block or the whoever's trying to hijack your money flow. Uh, get them to release the grip on that and um, <laughs> allow that flow to start coming back in. Now, uh, what usually happens is you're going to notice that this tends to happen with people who harbor jealousy around things that maybe you've got going on in your life. Um, perhaps you have things that they want, you know, very this is common sense stuff. Like, so think about those things when you're thinking about the people when it comes to money matters uh, and people want to prevent you from having what you want. It, it, and the, the jealousy could come from who knows what it is. You know, everyone has their own reasons. Again, also strong caveat here. Please also note that oftentimes when this is being done to you, it is being done unconsciously. These people are not sitting there with a voodoo doll, although that can happen, but likely the person is not sitting there with a voodoo doll and trying to purposely stop your money flow. It's just a result of these emotions and um, fueled by lots of anger, resentment, jealousy, and all the thoughts and maybe the words that are being spoken about you that fuel all of that. And again, remember, reality is our perception. And so what, what, you may perceive could be very different from what the other person perceives as their reality. And so that also take into account is part of the whole deal. So um, just keep all those things in mind, but these are things that you can do to help protect you and to um, increase your money flow again. And I can tell you 100%, especially after three times, and this didn't just happen over like a year, this happened over the course of three months. So, um, I want you all to understand that within three months, I had three incidences show. So I felt like to me, that was a message from my higher self to kind of wake up to what's been going on and to take back my power and to gain control again of uh, my livelihood. So I hope this helps you in uh, understanding what might be going on in your life. If you are experiencing some uh, interesting experiences with your finances that aren't you to your highest good and you want to shift that then these are some of the exercises that you can do uh, okay everyone uh, this has been great if you need any more information about me please head over to my website flexibleme.com you can sign up for my newsletter if you want to stay updated on all my blogs events other things that are going on and uh, if you're interested in uh, the spiritual journey I have a podcast called enlighten up and it comes out every Thursday in iTunes and that 
is with me and three other friends and two of them are skeptics. So we try to show both sides of the coin so that if you are a skeptic, you might enjoy it. And uh, if you are fringe, like me, uh, you might like it as well. Uh, so that's it for today, everyone. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please email me, info at inflexibleme.com. Uh, if I can help you out in any way, I will. If you're interested in working with me, I do do coaching and I can help you uh, through some of this stuff. And um, I also have a course on protection that I'll leave a link for in the description below if you're interested in that. All right, everyone, have a great week. Uh, keep your protection strong, keep your light bright, and I will see you next time.